All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. All right, here she is, big time feel, no surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits atop the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you got to see what Ronda Rousey just did. And it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey back and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 101 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bazooka. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is nothing. Well, you can hear from her fans as Ronda Rousey makes her return here tonight. Nine career wins by submission. Eight of her 12 pro wins have ended in round one via submission due to the arm bar. We'll see how Rousey approaches this one early. Well, to no one's surprise, she chooses to engage in the clinch here early on, and you know she can go for days. She can do this for 15, 25 minutes if needed. She can do this all day. She can fight this position all day, so for her and her corner, they're very excited about where we are right now. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Oh, she is wearing it, bleeding from her cheek now. Another clinch position. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, nice right here. Liver 
kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Dig and kick. That is how you scramble, folks. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Shot is blocked there by Ronda Rousey. Well, there, I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking some a massive hit. And they separate. Nice body right on the air. Again. Back into this position. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Real sneaky body kicks. Nice leg kick. Another clinch position. Not there. That was a nice fight. Leg Back kick. and forth we go. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. 15 seconds to go. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh. Oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, big left hook there. to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this race. That was, you can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Seconds now to go in the round. Well, Rousey's pass attempt denied. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go, round two. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. The finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Now we're gonna continue. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, she blocks the punch. Rousey gets in the clinch here. Let's see what she can do with it. Can't take many of those, you better check. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Big body kick lands. That was lightning fast, that right in. And they separate. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Rousey. Oh, big head kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Big. Connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast. Out. Just take the foul. Right, over. Rousey's cut is only getting worse. Making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, and she gives up for back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom getting mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back to get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Clinch. Well placed knee to the body. Big leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Again, back into this position. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch.
a big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. So she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, it's not considered a power shot or even a significant strike. Oh, oh how about it? Left up and delivered the diving punch to the head. to the feet now. Real nice body keep lane. Rousey's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, big shot lane. Oh! She can't get picked now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job. And then, oh, no, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution. And that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bazooka! Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight <laughs> after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks in this is a massive moment for it.